Welcome to Mount Vernon Athletic Club, home of the Blue Chip Tennis Academy. My name is Tim Banks and I'm Tennis Director here. Today I'd like to help everybody out a little bit with some insight onto how to hit a better inside in or inside out forehand. As everybody knows, this is a huge part of the modern game of tennis. However, a lot of people tend to go too far deep behind the baseline in order to try and achieve this shot. Let's not forget, it's an offensive shot. You are hitting a ball that ordinarily would be on the backhand side. That move to that ball has to be clean, precise, confident, and you must make sure that you are stepping inside the court to hit it and not backing up instead of shying away from hitting a backhand. Coach David, what we're going to do here is firstly understand that the red cone there in front of you is what I want you to loop around to make sure that your decision to go inside out or inside in is enabling you to be in a dominant position inside the court and not being pushed back on the backhand side. First thing I want everybody at home to see is that David as a right hander is going to start off with this key first step with the right leg stepping back and around and also therefore creating the beginning of his unit turn in order to get best prepared for this shot. Please come back David. If you could show everybody at home now the inside out forehand and the ideal position in which to be. If, if you notice that shot's hit with a little more topspin, David's leg load was lower, his separation is earlier and he is shaping the ball in a longer distance cross court, giving it a little more flight over the net and able to be much more creative with the spin that he puts on the ball. If we compare this now to an inside in forehand, the initial shoulder turn and separation are the same. But as you can see, his body weight top half is driving over the ball more, enabling him to flatten it out a little bit and be a little more aggressive. Remember that the court is shorter as we go down the line inside in, and therefore his shape has to dictate that by finishing a little lower in his follow through than he would on an inside out ball. Okay, go straight inside out. Inside in. 